Hello everyone, welcome back. This is uh, Tawseed Zaman back with the uh, hope of creating a complete playlist on PowerShell scripting in automation and uh, system administration on Windows. So yeah, this is the first video of this uh, series and I'm going to be creating one video for day and uh, we are going to be covering each and everything related to PowerShell scripting in automation and system administration. So yeah, so in, the, in this video, let's uh, dig into PowerShell scripting and what is PowerShell and uh, how we can set up our environment in Windows or in Linux if you are in Linux. So yeah, let's get into it. So, yeah, so first to define what is PowerShell. So if you go to, if you are on Windows, if you go to the search bar and search for PowerShell, you will see these things like uh, this is called PowerShell, Windows PowerShell. This is uh, the tool that allows us to uh, manage the Windows uh, operating system and configure the environment variables and all those things using command line and uh, the formal definition of uh, PowerShell can be found on chat GPT so I ask chat GPT what is PowerShell so you can see it says command line shell and scripting language designed for wisdom, uh, system administration and is built in uh, .NET framework provide full access to com and WMI and uh, allow uh, PowerShell allow you to run scripts and execute command line in Windows machines such as uh, will manage Windows resources such as uh, registry, certificates, and environments, variables, and uh, alternative command line interface uh, and scripting environment that is built in into Windows. So this uh, comes by default in Windows. You might already know that, uh, and it's included in Windows Server as well. Uh, automate task, create scripts, and performing system management task on both local and remote Windows machines. Yeah, so that is the formal uh, definition of PowerShell and that is uh, the tool that you're going to be using yeah and why you need uh, let's ask it with, uh, answer a question that is uh, why you need to learn PowerShell yeah so there is a huge amount demand on the markets uh, especially when it comes to freelancing and uh, remote working so if I search on uh, Upwork uh, the best platforms for uh, freelancers if I search for uh, PowerShell jobs here you see um, there's a huge demand uh, and huge, huge requirements like uh, whole bunch of people are needing assistance for Windows uh, and there's a whole bunch of tasks that uh, need to be done and a whole bunch of people are currently doing it so you can also be a part of that uh, community into PowerShell world and then the same thing goes for uh, Fiverr so if we search on Fiverr uh, about PowerShell um, there are a whole bunch of sellers that are available to uh, do the tasks that are related to PowerShell including me so that's why you need to learn PowerShell and uh, go through and uh, learn new skills so that will be the motivation behind learning uh, PowerShell to become uh, more to gain more knowledge and more, learn more skills and yeah so that is there for that so uh, I'm in the terminal I'm using terminal if you are on Windows um, but you, you might already get a terminal if you search for terminal in your search bar and the same thing goes we can add use the PowerShell uh, Windows PowerShell app for this as well so if I search for Windows PowerShell we can use this as well for uh, while we are uh, learning uh, PowerShell so I'm gonna be using uh, terminal terminal PowerShell that is this one like uh, here we have different options like which one you want to use so I'm currently using PowerShell that is this one uh, it opens a new PowerShell shell and here I created a PowerShell directory and what uh, where we are going to be practicing and creating scripts for, from uh, zero to here we can say. So uh, here I created a simple script and remember that uh, the PowerShell scripts are stored in the uh, in a file and the name of the file ends with .vs1 extension. So yeah, that is the extension of PowerShell script. That is the PS one. So let's uh, let's create a simple PowerShell script in this video, and in the next video we will carry on and create uh, discuss more things that we will be uh, exploring while we are going, uh, learning PowerShell. So as always, uh, you know the the first command uh, or the first uh, program that we are writing in every program la language that we are learning uh, is Hello World, right? So to write a Hello World in PowerShell, we can use uh, Echo as well as Write Host. So if I write echo here, let's say hello world, as you can see it displays that. And the same thing goes, we can write, uh, we can use write host and hello world. So that's working, right? So if I go to the hello.ps hello one 
uh, script here we can write that um, code and we will execute this and this will do the job that we are uh, this script is required to do so let's say I want a script that will just say hello world so uh, we can use the echo and here we will write hello world and if I save this and go back to the terminal we have the, uh, the script right um, the script uh, that is hello.ps1 so now how we can execute this script uh, there are multiple ways to execute PowerShell script uh, but uh, you know by default the um, execution policy like the windows will not allow you to execute PowerShell script directly until you set the execute policy to um, unsign or remove or bypass so what does mean we will explore that uh, later on in this series so uh, let's execute this uh, script the command that we are going to be using to execute any PowerShell script is uh, this for me because the execution policy is uh, restricted so just remember that and we will explore about that later on uh, to execute a script we will use powershell.exe and then set the execution policy to bypass or remote sign or unrestricted we can use these uh, options and then the script file that is file and then um, that is hello.ps1 if I hit enter as you can see it says hello world it displays the uh, uh, the result so instead of executing this for every um, script that you're going to be executing we can uh, start a powershell session with the execution policy bypass so if i hit enter this is going to start another session and now we can execute the hello uh, hello dot ps1 just by using the dot and then backslash and the, the script name so if i hit enter as you can see we got the hello world now uh, important to note here uh, you see the I have extension installed for uh, um, VS code I'm using VS code as IDE for scripting so if I hover over this uh, echo um, this is going to say this is the alias upright output so there are many ways to uh, print something on the terminal there are different uh, we have different options so this is a method uh, that uh, is, is here at here uh, echo uh, function echo and that is alias of right output so we can use this one as well right um, right output and uh, then pass the string that you want to display so uh, in, instead of right output we can use the right host as well so right to host and if I save this and go back to the terminal and execute the hello world as you can see it displays the hello world so there are different options if I try uh, right output right output and hello world and as you can see it works so these are the ways uh, we can print something on the screen so let's say right host we have echo save this come back here and that is uh, as you can see it works so now this is for normal messages there are many options for warnings for errors and uh, for all those things so we will explore th those uh, later on in this series yeah i guess that is uh, it for this video uh, make sure to like and subscribe and follow on uh, as we go with this series thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one